welcome to Las Vegas. We're at the Durango Casino out in the Southwest Valley of Las Vegas for the grand opening of this casino resort. It's a big day for the Southwest area of Las Vegas. It's an $800 million resort just opened today at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Let's take a little walk through and take a look around. So Whaler, brand new casino guys, real exciting. Whaler Razor, Curtis Smith. This uh, casino opened about two hours ago. It's jam packed as, uh, as you can imagine. Steve Ducharme, what's up? First, we're gonna we're gonna try to take a walk around most of the areas, um, see what we can see. So let's take a look. It's packed right now. I think the best place to see first is a swimming pool. So we're gonna go there first. Dr. Hamilton, what's up? Thanks for joining us. This is uh, Red Rock Resorts Casino or Station Casino. It's one of their properties. It's been a few years in the making here in the southwest area of Las Vegas, about 10 miles, five to 10 miles from the Las Vegas Strip, if you're not familiar with the area. Looks like we're on the Wi-Fi here, so the connection is solid. Hit the like, guys. Uh, hit the like button. I got up early morning, early this morning to uh, get out here and and live stream here. I'm also doing a regular, regular uh, 4K video that I'll post today later. I filmed earlier today. I figured I'd uh, do a live one too. Tisha Brown, welcome. I bumped into a couple of YouTubers already here. Um, Jay Cation on YouTube and also J and K Las Vegas. We're entering the lobby area right here. This is the lobby of the new Durango Casino. There's a coffee shop right here called Vesta Coffee Roasters. So everything I see right now is going to be new for me too because they just opened. So every um, you're discovering as I go along too. So we're going to walk through new areas never seen before by the public. This is the uh, check-in area. Hey, I shout you out, bro. Hey. <laughs> uh, well, say it again. What's your Instagram? It's Armando.Visual. Armando.Visual. I just bumped into him and just met him. He's got a nice setup, similar to mine. Well, yeah. Way better than mine, actually. Thank <laughs> you. All right, Armando. Good to meet you. Thank you. All right. Uh, yes, this is a check-in area. There's not long lines right now. I actually looked on the website to see how much the rooms were. And uh, I was kind of uh, kind of discouraged because the rooms are going for three ninety nine, three hundred dollars and ninety nine cents, and three hundred dollars and ninety nine dollars, three hundred ninety nine dollars. There might be a local special, but that's the current rate right now for December and January. It's uh, pretty high, guys. I'm not sure what the resort fee is either. This is the new lobby, concierge bell desk right here. Hey, from Corsica, High Satnam, Retroactive Jealousy World. Where are you, Maria? You're just joining us. We are at the new Durango Casino in Las Vegas. Opened two hours ago here in Las Vegas. 
We're heading over to the swimming pool area. Take a look. This is the Bel Air Lounge. It looks like a beautiful lounge area, high uh, upscale. Hi guys. Uh, you're on again. Another. <laughs> my earlier video you were on. So. Oh well. Thank Thanks you. for being the face <laughs> of the Bel Air. This is exciting. Yes. It Thanks is. guys. All right. This is the Bel Air Lounge. Looks pretty comfortable here. Nice aesthetic. You can set up your laptop here and uh, get some sunlight. Got a pool table. Hey, LA Vegas Mike, what's up? Junior Zero. Yeah, where are you, Maria? $400 is a lot. That might be just because they just opened. Imagine the room rates will be coming down. Hello. Uh, this is the bar area in the Bel Air. Looks beautifully well appointed. <laughs> Hello. Beautiful bartenders. Oh yeah, we ain't got you. Looks like they have a DJ area for uh, evening entertainment. It opens up into the swimming pool area. So there's an outdoor lounging area. Yeah, LA Vegas Mike. Yeah, it looks, uh, I don't know if it's gonna rival Red Rock. I don't know if you guys been to Red Rock Resorts in Summerlin, but uh, it's not as big as Red Rock, I believe. But uh, looks quite nice so far. Come on up. Uh, sir, the pool area is closed. Do you, you work here? You oh, no, no. It's closed. Oh, uh, closed? Okay. Just want to show the swimming pool area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it from over here. Yeah, there's no life there, bro. Sorry. All right. That. No worries. No worries. Um, so you can see the swimming pool from here. They closed off this area right now because uh, it's open to guests right now. Curtis D, good afternoon. Alex, it's me, Alex. What's up in Greece? Wish I was there in person, but thanks. You can share it. Absolutely. Tisha Brown at work. Can't watch the whole video. See you next time. All right. Check out the uh, 4K version of this video later on. I'll post it in the afternoon. Let's take a walk around the casino now. This is the Bel Air Lounge. The center over here, meeting rooms. Ballrooms, we're not gonna go too far into here, but uh, you can see there's a lot of Brother Bob, what's up? Skeppy, you're welcome. Jay Bear, yes, brand new, everything's brand spanking new. We're gonna check out though, and see how much we can lose. <laughs> yeah, they're only 20s, it's not very impressive. Are they using fresh flowers? That's the question. Yep, those are fresh flowers. Flores frescos. Flores frescos. Frescos. Check out the food court because everybody likes to eat, right? Take a little walk down the middle of the casino floor down, down the center excuse me hey Vegas of Cali Steph what's up welcome to the live stream 
putting up the spear emoji i love it if you remember put up throw up some uh throw up some emojis member emojis whoop, whoop. this is a center bar area plenty of tvs televisions and drinks This is a center casino area. We're gonna head over to the food court, guys. Show you what kind of food is available here, and then hit the, the sports book, and then the restaurants in that order. I already did a 4K video earlier today, so that will post in a, in a, later this afternoon. If you guys are in Vegas tonight, they're gonna to have a. a fireworks show signally in the grand opening of this casino at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, food courts over here it's called uh, eat your heart out food court over here How's the connection, guys? It looks like it's unstable in this area. Even though I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm on the Station Casino's Wi-Fi. Let me know how the connection is in the food court area. Uh, you, you order me sushi right here? This is you or me, Shushi. Doug P. Vlogs, welcome. Good to see you, brother. Hermanito. Como, que tal? Que tal, compa? It is one of my favorite restaurants over here in Las Vegas. Shang Artisan Noodles. This is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants in Las Vegas. Shang. There's uh, several locations in Las Vegas for Shang. Actually, there's one location. But there's, a, there's another one in uh, Henderson called Shang Man. Shang Man. They make their noodles from scratch. Anybody been to Shang's? LA Vegas Mike. Hey, yeah, the oyster bar at Palace Station is awesome. Guess what? They have one here too at the Durango Casino. They have an oyster bar. We'll walk over there in a minute. But uh, it looks to be the same oyster bar they have in uh, Palace Station. Steph with a spear. Steph with a spear emojis. Whoop, whoop. getting a lot of practice with these noodles. She, she sure knows how to pull them noodles. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, Vegas of Cali, you have Shang before, yep. Um, I, I'd say one of the top, and very top restaurants in Vegas that's very reasonably priced. 
Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs here. But uh, let's see if I can get a hold of the uh, menu. See if the prices are the same. See if I get a hold of a menu. I want to see if the prices are the same. Can I see a menu, please? Just, no, just that one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's see if the prices are the same as the ones in the local area. Uh, no, they're much higher <laughs> because um, I think the Shane beef noodle. Is about thirteen or fourteen dollars on the local joint, the one that's on Flamingo, and there's another Shang Men on in uh, in uh, Silverado Ranch in Maryland. So inside the resort costs uh, ten to fifteen percent more. Thank you. But uh, you're gonna come to expect that, I guess. It's inside a casino resort. Yeah, Vegas of Cal used to be $9.99. Yeah, it used to be the best value in town. This is Aipono Cafe, Hawaiian street food. Apono? Apono? I don't know. I probably said that incorrectly. See if we get a look at the food here. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, brother. You got your plate plate lunches, Hawaiian style plate lunches. It's your reggae music. water well the vibe in there the vibe is nice yeah another Vesta coffee roaster right here they they have one of these Vesta coffee roaster places in the lobby also if you don't remember seeing that earlier in the video people want to get their caffeine on baby if you want to get your caffeine on Vesta coffee Hey, Neil Macedo, what's up? Aloha. Uh, what else they got to eat here? What else? Uncle Polly's. Looks like a sandwich shop. Maybe an Italian sandwich shop. Cold sandwiches, maybe? Yeah, we got... Uncle Polly's, and then they got a Fior, Fiorella, Fiorella pasta. Fiorella pasta. Fiorella Pasta, home of the Pasta Sisters. Home of the Pasta Sisters from Philly, from Philadelphia, okay. I guess uh, anybody familiar with the Fiorelli Pasta? Um, this is the Oyster Bar. They have a similar one, if not identical one, at the Palace Station. Hey, English, Albert Slot Channel, what's up, brother? Shout out to Albert Slot Channel, local guy, good friend of mine. SoCal 77. Englishman in Malta, what's up? All the way from Malta, across the whole world. <laughs> Welcome, brother. I'm a big fan of the English man in Malta. So this is uh, the oyster bar. Yeah, this is a very popular uh, oyster bar in the palace station that's been there for ages, decades. 
So I believe they, I think it's the same menu. It looks like the same menu. Favorite is the pan roast here. Probably the crab pan roast or the combo. Seafood jambalaya is good too. Anybody eat at the Palace Station one? Same price as LA Vegas Mike. Hey, if you guys know anything about the restaurants or this resort, you can chime in and let us know in the chat. This is my first time here. It opened about two and a half hours ago. And uh, everything is new. Everything is brand spanking new here. It's a really exciting day for Las Vegas, opening a new, brand new resort here. Almost $800 million resort. Built probably most likely catered for locals here in the southwest area about 10 minutes off the freeway south of south of uh, Red Rock Resorts and about 10 miles east of the strip Las Vegas strip on 215 Nielsen's Nielsen's frozen custard hey there a sample, okay. Does that chocolate, mean it's free? And yes, chocolate, <laughs> vanilla, and Oreo. Oreo, of course. Okay. You gotta go for the, you gotta go for the win. Classic. Oreo. Got it. Okay, she's offering uh, a sample of Oreo. And Nielsen's, Nielsen's uh, frozen custard. I see. Hey. Anybody familiar with Nielsen's custard? Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Check this out. Oreo frozen custard by Nelson's. Cookie is very crunchy. Yes. Usually it's uh, like soggy. Yeah, soggy. We make it fresh all day. So everything we do, we don't have anything frozen. Our machine runs all day long. Liar. You can't make the Oreo fresh. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm just kidding. Well, we didn't make the Oreo. <laughs> but I know that, yeah, the frozen custard definitely tastes super fresh. Thank you. Very Delicious. Nice. I'm going to have to come back. I just had dessert, so. Please do. Thank you so, so much. This is Nelson's frozen yogurt. It's very exciting. Yum, yum. Look, they even have their. Delicious old school sodas and handmade. Handmade, uh, you know how big of a fan I am of ice cream and frozen custard. Sure, tell everybody about this place, you know? So they'll come. She knows all about this place. Oh, yeah? Hi. What's your name? Tatiana. Tatiana, I'm, I'm Kenzo. The, you are the owner's daughter, yes. Nelson of Nelson's. Well, no, what is? The ones in the Nevada, they're owned by a different family, but they're also very close friends with the Nielsen's family. Oh. So the one on Eastern actually used to be owned by one of the Nielsen's brothers. Okay. And then he he got older and he didn't want to run a business anymore. So oh. he sold to my parents after a bunch of interviews. Awesome. So now my parents own they own the ones in uh, Nevada. Yeah, all the ones in Nevada. Yeah, okay. So but do you have the name? Or you just they just purchased the name? Well like a, I think it's more like a more like a I don't know if it's franchise or something. Okay, I understand. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys open inside the Durango. That's it's amazing. It's so cool. That's it's gonna be that's beautiful. huge. It's right? so awesome. I'm so excited to be here. Well awesome. This is the daughter of the it's, owners. Yeah, man. Zayon. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Is this a franchise in a different st city? Nielsen's? In Utah, but it's only like Nielsen's family members who own it in Utah. Okay, in yeah. Utah. Utah. Yeah. Okay. And it used to be in Arizona, but not anymore. All right. Well, it's delicious. I had a sample of the Oreo. Oh, good. I'm going to come back. A trash can for it? Yes. Can, uh, yeah. can I just toss it in? I'll just, yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. All right, Tatiana. Bye bye. Come check out uh, Nielsen's frozen yogurt. Whoop, whoop. 
Uh, over here is uh, Prince Street Pizza. I think this is a New York style pizza. Prince, sorry, I got can I squeeze in. And of course, we got Marlon Brando. Okay, Bay, all right. TNA Adventures, welcome. This is a uh, Prince Street Pizza. Any any New Yorkers? Any New Yorkers in the chat? get a look at what the pizza looks like. Man, they really pile on the pepperoni here. You mind if I like squeeze in and just show that pepperoni? Look how much pepperoni they got on there. That's insane. That's insane. That's a lot of pepperoni. That's like eating a whole slab of pepperoni there. Looks like they have a bar here in the food court too. Oh, no problem. Signal's getting weak out here a little bit. They have an outdoor seating area for the food court. Parking lot out here and a parking parking structure. Hello. Hello. Parking structure over here. I parked out in the in the parking lot out here. There was plenty of parking. Came at uh, about nine nine thirty in the morning. Made a four K video here. So check that out later. Paco Bowl in the chat. Welcome, Paco Bowl, good friend of mine. Saw you, I don't know, on Fremont Street about eight, six, eight months ago. Welcome. Okay, let's keep. Hey, Kenzo, the laughing line. Oh hi. I probably never. I met you one time before, uh, but that was. Yeah, where by the burgers? Food court. I'll shout, I'll shout you out. Yeah, yeah. I'll shout you out my life. Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. Uh, hey, hello. We're live. Hey guys. Norma's, hey guys. Norma's here and Lydia. I've seen you in her videos sometimes. Hi. I've seen you. Yeah. What was your name? Lydia. Lydia. Lydia and Norma. 399 for a freaking room. What? I checked for next month. It was $399 plus resort fee. Well, I don't know. I'm sure that the rooms are gorgeous though. Yeah. What? Talk with somebody in marketing, maybe, and then you might get a, get a tour. Uh, they're you should hook yeah. your ass up. Yeah, hopefully we can do it here. Yeah. So I'm going to walk around. And thanks yeah. for being in the video. Thank you. That's normal. And look. Bye, everybody. It was very bad. Uh, so it, that kind of got messed up. Yeah. Bad transmission. I'm on the Wi-Fi, but uh, still bad. That's okay. There's, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. All right, okay, guys. See, See you later. Uh, let's head over. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, are we back? Are we back? Because the signal is pretty weak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here for a second. Let the signal settle down. We're in front of the sports book now. Station Sports. They operate their own sports books here. Mighty Bulls in the room. Welcome. Bizzle Bo, VR, Norma's there. First time meeting here. I met her before at T-Mobile Marina out there. Vegas to Cali. You guys are back? All right. Because uh, the signal was pretty weak there. Okay, let's uh, take a walk through the sports book. Looks really nice. Hopefully the uh, cell phone signal is strong here. Any 
any sports betters there? Last night, Vegas Golden Knights lost. They lost me some money. <laughs> I had them on the money line against the St. Louis Blues. But they've been generally pretty good this year. <laughs> Can't complain. Lots of seating areas here. If you're a sports better, food options, center bar area. Chairs look pretty comfortable. Yeah, sorry we lost the signal there at the, the food court. I guess the Wi Fi is not that great there. Well, we're back in a strong signal. Here's Bad Santa right here. It's Drunk Santa again. <laughs> He's not drunk yet. Working He's working on it for the fireworks. By, the, by fireworks time tonight, you'll be I'll drunk be Santa. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be laying in the hay with, with Rudolph. <laughs> and he'll be cashing like a $10,000 ticket too. Right? Okay. Big. They look like 90 inch televisions here, so pretty impressive. Another comfortable lounge area here. And uh, this is part of the George Sportsman's Lounge, she says. And it's an outdoor area, open air. Giant screen so you can watch the TV. Really huh? beautiful, beautiful high definition screens and a live band area. Wow, check this out. Gonna have a live band. I bet you they're gonna be playing tonight. Cause uh This is the George. Is this a reference to uh, George Foreman? The George Sportsman's Lounge. I don't know. Because I see it says uh, the greatest of all time. Maybe I'll ask them. George for. You were so sweet earlier on my video. Thank you so much. I have a one question. Is this the name of this place, George? Is it a reference to George Foreman, the boxer, or no? No. Okay. So back in old Vegas, um, like the cocktail waitresses and in the industry, they used to call people who are uh, a George, like he's a good tipper. Oh, like, somebody like a a VIP, like a, a, VIP, so a high then, roller that tips well. Yeah. A George. So then we uh, cocktail waitresses when they switch off they'd be like oh he's a George he's a George he's yeah. in he's in and yeah. they're like fighting over him a little bit kind of all right I got yeah, you so here, a very generous person like a George yeah so here anybody could be a George oh it's so it's open to everybody and yeah, all you're inclusive all special, yes, all even special. the poor guys like me so. <laughs> that's awesome all right that's so that's uh, thank you so much for the explanation of that sure. so everybody was kind of wondering that I was wondering that I'm not hungry right now, but later tonight I'm coming back, so... We'll right. be here 24 do you, hours. Do you require hours. reservations tonight, or no? Um, no, well, you can come on a walking basis. Uh -huh. We can also make you a reservation. You okay, can. all right. Thank you so much. Thank all right. You. This is the George, and that's why it's called the George.
think uh, we'll head over to one of the other restaurants. Take a look at that. Another bar area, probably. Uh, they got bar top, uh, bar top slots. And you can sports bet here while you eat. Probably a great place to watch the uh, um, Super Bowl in February, which is happening here in Las Vegas. Alfonso Asnaya, hello, could you send greetings to uh, my wife Luz Maria from Mexico? Saludos, Luz. Saludos. Luz Maria de Mexico. Bienvenidos a Las Vegas. Estamos en vivo. This is the grand opening of the um, Durango Casino. If you just joined us, we'll head over to the next restaurant. Restaurante. Uh, Las Vegas, Mike. Is there a secret speakeasy? Did you read about that? Uh, maybe I'll ask somebody who works here if they have a speakeasy. It's another center bar. This is right well, as you enter the valet area, the center bar. One of the front entrances facing Durango or Highway 15. Actually, that's Highway 15, I believe. Here's another restaurant here. It's called Mijo. Hi. Right. Can I just pass through and take a look at... Uh, so you guys are open, right? Um, we open at 4 p.m. Oh, 4 p.m.? Okay, so we can see what it looks like beforehand. All right, thank you. All right, this is Mijo Mexican restaurant. Hello. Maybe I'll look at the menu when we come out. Okay. Looks uh, nicely decorated, all brick. Nice little lounger. I uh, went into this area earlier and it's a nice lounge. They're still working on it. Of course, this is the grand opening day, so they're still working on we're still working on the details here, and they open at 4 p.m. today. Hi. This is Mijo. Mijo Mexican cuisine. Hello, thank you. Great. I'm gonna show them the outside area. You can you can see inside or out. Viva la raza. Whoop whoop. Now this must be the centerpiece dining area right here. If you guys are just joining us, we're at the grand opening of the Durango Casino in Southwest area of Las Vegas. It's about 10 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. 10 minutes south of Summerlin. We just opened today at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There will be fireworks tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I did a 4K video of this. It will be posting later on in the afternoon. Thank you, sir. See you soon. All right. Let's check out the menu here real quick. Specialis. Oh, my favorite burrilla short ribs. If you like steak and lobsters here. All right, this is Mijo, Mexican restaurant. Thank you. Did you see that?
Toto will do the next uh, restaurant. Hey, 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 photography and film, brother Kenzo, this is the right time to live stream. Not too late or early, finally, huh? <laughs> you know me, I always do uh, nighttime videos. That's why I got my Sony. Nighttime videos is me. I'm a vampire, man. I don't like coming out during the daytime. <laughs> good looking bartenders, you gotta come for the bartenders. They're good looking. Great, they make the best drinks here. I'm lying, I'm lying because I've never had a drink here yet. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta hype it up, man. You gotta hype up this new property here in Las Vegas. 800 million, almost 800 million dollars to build this property from the ground up here, Durango Casino, Las Vegas. Let's check out the next restaurant. It's called the Summer House. Summer House, Santa Monica, California. I believe they're referencing Santa Monica, California. Uh, let's take a look inside. of uh, or access to any of the rooms or the suites or anything so this is just the casino floor casino resort area Dan the man what's up easy way what's up show me the main area yeah Scotty C yeah we're almost an hour into this live stream so I did show the lobby area but I'll go back over there Take a look. So, uh, I'm 
show you the front front part of your airport. Yeah. Looks like the parking lot's full right now. I came at about 9.30 a.m. and there was plenty of parking. Here's what it looks like from the outside. Uh, I don't know how many rooms it has. Does anybody know how many rooms? Hotel rooms? Hey, photography film. Let's hope you don't bump into Rami Travel again. Yeah. I think he's still in uh, Medellin. Let's come on over to the valet area. Port Cochet. They have their own uh, gas guzzlers here. Thank you. Sorry, Wi-Fi was uh, Wi-Fi was weak right there. This is the lobby area. We are here. We started the live stream over in this area. Yeah, I uh, ran into a little bit of a a dead spot with the Wi-Fi. If you go outside, I'm gonna. Hey, uh, DOV TT, what's up? All the way from Denmark. Amy S, Mrs. TNA, welcome. Thank you for coming. Pack a ball, thanks guys. Um, we're gonna end the live stream here because I was just gonna do an hour and walk through most of the areas here in Durango. The new, brand new Durango Casino. So we're gonna end the live stream here. Thanks for coming. If you missed anything, come back and watch the, watch the replay. And also, I'll be posting a 4K video walking tour of the casino, too. And thank you all for coming. Yeah, well guys, have a great day.